Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson, we're going to be creating the other ammo scripts for the other weapons. Now, I have the pistol ammo script open and that's because we are actually going to copy and paste the code from this script and just swap out the variables as needed. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new C Sharp script and we'll just call this Shotgun Ammo. We'll keep going, we'll create another for Machine Gun Ammo. And finally we'll create one for the Rifle Ammo as well. And what we'll do is we'll just open all three of those new scripts so okay that's all three open so we'll come to shotgun ammo to begin with and oh as always we'll put our block of comments at the top here and today's date and Let's do this for the other scripts as well. And once we have these blocks in place for all three scripts, we can actually continue on with the actual copying and pasting of the entire scripts. And finally, there we go, all three are now set up. So we'll come to pistol ammo. We're going to copy this line where we attach the audio source to begin with. So let's paste that in. We'll paste it into all three scripts. And then we'll come back to the pistol ammo script. And what we're going to do is copy and paste all the code. So from the first variable all the way to the end, we'll come to shotgun and we'll paste that in. And then we're going to change out what needs to be changed. So the first thing is the variable here. We'll change pistol to shotgun ammo box. And give it a value. I'm going to give mine a value of 6. You can put any value you actually like. We'll change this for the audio. Pick up audio to shotgun as well. And we'll tidy up and change out the comments as necessary, as we always do. And we'll copy and paste this variable, underscore shotgun ammo box, both here. And we need to copy and paste the audio here. So we don't need to change anything in the void start. So we'll come to void update. And we'll change the comment for what we've just pasted in. So play shot gun ammo pickup audio. Temp, this should be shot gun ammo. And again, we'll change out the comment also and let's just go through I don't believe there's anything else that we need to change here so we're finding the weapons and what we will need to do is change this here so we'll change that from destroy pistol to destroy shotgun We'll copy and paste that naming convention into the start core routine and into the comment. We'll change the comment here as well. In the I enumerator. And 
let's have a look. I believe that's all we actually need to change. <clears throat> so let's save that one off. That's our shotgun ammo script. We'll just come to console. We'll make sure we have no errors. And we can close that script off now. Again, we'll copy and paste the pistol script. <clears throat> and in fact, let's do it for both scripts now for the machine gun and rifle. We can actually close the pistol script at this point. And we'll just go through and do the exact same thing for the rifle. So underscore rifle ammo box, any value you, you wish. We'll change it to rifle here for the audio clip and in the comment. And we'll just copy and paste those two variables here and for the audio here as well. We'll tidy up the comments and we'll just keep going. So rifle, rifle ammo box, then add rifle ammo and we'll change here, play rifle ammo pickup and the I enumerator will change that to destroy rifle. Again, we'll copy that naming convention and paste it into start call routine and to the comment as well. And we'll just save that off also. I don't, f I think that's everything we need to change here. And we'll come to machine gun. So we'll change the first variable. I'm going to have a quite a high number, but you can use any you want. And we just go through and change what needs to be changed for the audio clip. So we'll change that to machine gun. And again, the comment. We'll copy and paste both of those two here. And again, here as well. We'll change that to machine gun ammo. We'll change the comment there. And here for the audio clip also. And again, we'll change the iNumerator naming convention to machine gun also so let's copy that into start core routine and into the applicable comment so let's save that off there so we can actually close the machine gun script also now as well we'll check the console for errors and I'm just going to check the weapon script. I'm going to make sure we've got these all named correctly. And pistol, let's keep going down. I just wanted to make sure for machine gun that I was using the capital G here. So everything is matching up perfectly so now all we actually need to do is the scripts themselves so that's what we're going to be doing in the next lesson we're going to make a start on filling out the shotgun machine gun and rifle scripts and then we can start putting it all together in scene along with creating our prefabs for our ammo pickup so we can test that out as well. So those videos are, are coming and they are coming pretty soon. But in the meantime, I think we'll leave it here for now. 
As always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, bye for now.